Buenos dias, mis amigos. Alright, today I'm just going to do a little video review of uh, this video that came out three hours ago on animal sacrifices resumed during Christ's millennial reign. 220432 and 1. Okay, so this is absolutely deranged and it's evidence of the wickedness of this world and the deception that is in this world and it's a sign of the end times and the enormity that the incredible uh, flood of deception if you will it, it's unlike any other time in the history of this world and it's every single day and it's preacher after preacher all these people claiming to be Christ are teaching falsely just about every single thing in the Bible and it, you know there could be multiple reasons for it but the essential reason is that they are lacking faith and because they lack faith in the Word of God they are not able to see nor understand what the Word of God is teaching us. So let's go over just a little bit of what these people have to say. Sacrifices in the millennial reign and also we are going to talk a little bit about the millennial temple and how that is the fourth temple that is different from the third temple that will be used in the... Okay, so this uh, these people uh, they've gone way overboard. The fourth temple is going to be the temple in the millennial reign. Now, think about that. So you got uh, one temple, then you got two temples, and then you got a third temple, and then comes a fourth temple for a thousand years, and then now we're up to five temples. Assuming that there's something after the thousand years. And uh, that's pure insanity. I mean, that's that's taking it next level ignorance let me explain this real quickly and the Bible is is very clear on this the old temple represents our body the new temple represents the new body that we will be given in the life hereafter all right and this is astonishing because even the Bible itself talks about how ignorant these people were. Jesus died and destroyed the temple and then raised it back up in three days. And the Jews were miffed, mystified, you know, they were confounded. So what is this guy talking about? We, this took us 46 years to build this sucker. And will thou rear it up in three days? But Jesus is talking about the temple of his body. Know ye not that your body is the temple of God. And the Spirit of God dwells in you. What? Know ye not? that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you which ye have of God and you are not your own I mean it's crystal clear that Jesus destroyed this temple that we're all in right now and we are looking forward to a better temple to host to put our body into right it's as clear as day there's not three temples there's not four temples and there, there sure as heck is not five temples I mean this stuff is insanely stupid in the tribulation that the people in Israel are all excited about right now so my name is Heather and thanks for talking I, I can't even take this okay so what I have no I have not watched any of this, but she's gonna get in this guy here, Deputy Dumb Dog. Oh, he's gonna talk about you know what they're gonna go back 
and start offering animal sacrifices in the what third temple or fourth temple or is it the fifth temple I mean this is taking ignorance to the next level it really is and you know I'll just show you one verse and then call it a video but what is that video or what is that excuse me what is that uh, what is that verse I'm thinking of oh you know the you know what I'm talking about right there all right, for by one offering he has perfected forever them that are sanctified. Sanctified. So, Jesus has given his body as a sacrifice uh, for the sins of the whole world. It's a one time deal. It's not possible that the blood of bulls and of goats should take away sins. And, oh, here we go. And verse 26. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remains no more sacrifice for sins, because Jesus is the sacrifice. He already done it. So what are you going to do? Offer a sacrifice greater than Jesus? What are you talking about? Animal sacrifices after Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven? That's not even close to anything biblical. And this is as ignorant and stupid as it gets right here, folks. And I'm, I'm, look, I get it. He's not the only one. There's a million people out there probably teaching the same doggone thing and it's wrong and stupid.